Hey everybody, here's a look at the Corpus Christi Lithium Refinery Plant. Hey everybody, it's Joe and I'm back out here at the Corpus Christi Lithium Plant. And it's been a couple of months since I was here. The last time was at the middle of November in 2024. And a lot has changed since that time. One of the most important things uh, came out from Tesla very recently, and that was that they got uh, a shipment, uh, initial shipment of the spodumene concentrate six, and they were using the rotating kiln for the very first time. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know what that means, but if you haven't, I'll kind of break it down for you here uh, and kind of explain why that is so important. The processing plant here is uh, basically made up of three parts. One of them is the pyrometallurgical processing, and that uses a lot of heat treatment and that changes the spodumene concentrate six from alpha to beta format. And the rotating kiln kind of looks like this large rusty cylinder, and uh, obviously it rotates and it uses a heat treatment process to do that uh, calcination of that uh, spodumene concentrate six to do that processing. And then next to that is a rotating cooler unit, and that is part of that uh, final uh, portion of the pyrometallurgical processing. After it leaves that, it goes to the hydrometallurgical processing, which uses a lot of aqueous mixtures and inert uh, uh, reaction agents to turn that spodumene concentrate uh, uh, six in that beta format uh, further into other components that eventually become lithium hydroxide. And then of course the last part of the plant is the packaging up of that lithium hydroxide. And uh, that is then shipped off from this plant and it heads up north to Giga Texas to the battery cathode plant and they take that as an input. They do additional processing and then ultimately they get the cathode material that is used for the 4680s that are produced up at Giga Texas. So it's really a great milestone to see that they've got that uh, rotating kiln, at least in the early stages of being used. Now, as you'll also see by some of these images, the middle part of the, that uh, hydrometallurgical processing part of the plant still has a lot of assembly being done, some steel superstructure, more foundations, uh, additional tanks, and they're just still getting that part of the plant up and running. And I expect that to happen over the next uh, month or two, uh, but we do see a lot of progress here from my mid-November flight. And then of course at the end is, uh, we'll see with this image here, where that final packaging and processing part of the plant is well underway and that'll be finished up here very soon. Now, another thing that I do wanna make sure you understand is the plant here is two parts. And the part that we're seeing right now is only half of what eventually will be the plant. They're gonna have two parallel mirrored processing portions of that factory when it is completed. And I expect that part is gonna be well into 2026 before that uh, comes online. But for 2025, the first half that we see under construction now should be operational. And then we'll start seeing a ramp up of that uh, processing for lithium hydroxide here very soon. There's additional other things that I did notice at the site today. We'll talk about that during the flight. But otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed this update of the lithium plant here. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Let's get into the video. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you.
Well, what a day to fly at the Corpus Christi lithium plant. It was a lot of wind, very cold, and uh, it was a little challenging to get the drone in the air, but fortunately I did. I got a great flight in. I think you're going to like what you see. And uh, what we're looking at right now is from the west, looking to the east, you can see that main highway going left to right along the middle part of the screen. And down at the bottom is the material staging where we see materials and some uh, trailers uh, all staged here waiting for installation. Of course, the large building that we see is the raw processing uh, facility. This is where the raw spodumene concentrate six will be brought in by a railhead and that'll most likely be coming in where you see the dirt road on the right hand side of the screen that is not here yet and then it'll be loaded into this large doorway and then sorted put onto the conveyor system between those two towers and then that will bring it up into the plant for processing and as we pass those conveyor systems you can see the pyrometallurgical portion of the factory. That's with the rotating kiln, kind of that rusty large pipe on the top, and then the rotating cooler and the jacketed pipe. And that uh, takes the spodumene concentrate from alpha to beta format. Then it enters this section of the facility, which is the hydrometallurgical processing. That's why you have a lot of tanks, a lot of high superstructure. And this is going to be kind of a labor intensive, energy intensive process to take that spodumene concentrate um, beta format and then eventually through all of the various uh, aqueous processes and the inert materials that they'll be using, we'll have as an output the lithium hydroxide. You can also see that there are still a lot of cranes here. There's a lot of vertical assembly of the structure underway, particularly for the hydrometallurgical portion of the factory, but it is significantly more advanced than it was in November. And coming in on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see where there's uh, kind of like those uh, uh, tall tanks in the superstructure and that's where that material come in and be processed and basically packaged as lithium hydroxide and then sent up to Giga Texas. This is a nice view along the highway to the right, also the rail that uh, goes right next to the uh, plant and that's where they're going to do that spur off of that uh, rail system and then take it up to that raw processing facility. Now, as I turn back to the main plant, what you can definitely tell is on the left-hand side is the first half of the plant that is being constructed. On the right, that uh, kind of darker, flat, uh, graded area will be where a mirror image of what we see on the left will be eventually be constructed. And then there will be basically parallel processing for the lithium hydroxide preparation and uh, production. Now, as I turn around uh, towards the uh, factory again, we uh, get a good view of what that uh, middle part of the hydrometallurgical processing uh, system looks like. Now, many of the tanks that you see in the middle of the screen will be shared between the two parallel processing lines once they are all in place. We also see this uh, structure with the Evapco fan units on the roof. This is very similar to the chilling plant that we see up at Giga Texas for the cathode plant. Also, we have a kind of a Quonset hut tent or workshop that has been put into place here on the bottom left and a complete new structure that has been uh, uh, mostly completed since the last flyover and that's at the bottom center of the screen. And this is a really nice uh, view of how that appears. And then as I continue to turn the drone, how the first half of the lithium plant appears today. And uh, I, I really do think that there's a lot of progress uh, that is happening now. And I do expect to see, in addition to them putting that spodumene through the rotating kiln for the first time a few weeks ago, that we're going to start seeing some uh, serious production uh, picking up towards the middle part of 2025. And a nice view here as we continue to circle around the raw material processing facility on the right. And another look at where additional section, that half of the section of the plant will be constructed and sometime in the future. <music> As I pull away, I will turn back and give you a 
overall view of what the rest of the site looks like on the north end. We can see that one of the two large ponds is now drained, and it's actually been reshaped to some degree. And I'll give you a closer view of that here momentarily, but as I continue to turn towards the north following the power lines and the roadway uh, that you see in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, up where you see all of that kind of dust being kicked up, that's where they have the new electrical switchyard or substation that has been installed and connected to these power lines to provide the power uh, for the lithium plant. And of course, as I mentioned before, with the pyrometallurgical and hydrometallurgical processing, it's going to require a lot of energy. And that's why it demanded its own new uh, substation. And that was con constructed uh, sometime last year and the kind of the uh, summer portion of the year and it appears to be mostly operational now as i fly over this clearing just to the north of the ponds uh, we can see how the roadway uh, kind of extends uh, back towards the main plant still not sure what that clearing is uh, really meant for uh, but this flight gives you an idea of where it is situated in relation to the rest of the plant. As we come back over these Quonset Hut uh, uh, maintenance shops at the bottom of the screen, it's a nice uh, closer in view of some of the materials that have been staged around this area and just to the west of this large pond. And as I turn back to the pond, it's a nice view of how it is very rectangular now. It used to be kind of trapezoidal in shape and much smaller. So this has definitely been increased in size. And it does look like there's a depression within that rectangular section. So I think it's going to be another large pond once they are completed. As I turn back towards the middle part of the site, on the upper left is the trailers where a lot of the offices are currently for the plant. And it uh, also serves where some of the contractors that are building the plant have offices as well. This uh, white Quonset hut tent in the middle of the screen was one of the first structures that was here. And it seems like it is still useful for most likely holding a lot of materials and equipment uh, temporarily uh, while the factory is under construction. Now in the middle of the screen, as I bring dr the drone down even closer, we can see that lithium uh, archway. That is where the groundbreaking took place in May of 2023. And it's also where we saw some of the images of the deliveries of the spodumene concentrate just a few weeks ago and where that celebration took place with the uh, concentrate in those bags in the back of the cyber trucks. More materials being staged here in the middle part of the factory. And as I take a zoomed in look, we can get a nice uh, view of this side of that raw material processing facility, the conveyor system, the rotating kiln and coolers that have been put on those mounts in the upper right, the hydrometallurgical processing part of the plant again, the uh, tanks and some of the structures at the ground level, and uh, just uh, another view of how tall this structure actually is. <music> As I pull away from that central section, I want to uh, try to recreate or at least get into the right vantage point so you can compare how the factory looks right now to the official rendering. And I'll put that up here right now. And you can really get a good view of that uh, roadway on the left, that pond on the left as well, and how the overall factory uh, looked in the rendering. And of course, how it is definitely taking shape here for real. And uh, pretty soon it will look just like that rendering with the additions of all of these ponds way up here on the north. And as I do pull away farther, this is a great look at those ponds and how they appear today. And uh, you have this one large kind of trapezoidal pond, and then you have that new one off to the upper right. And uh, again, from this far away, this is a nice overall view of the entire site and uh, all of the various uh, parts of this site that are under development right now. Uh, the actual land area that Tesla owns is many times larger to this, uh, and it extends way to the north and further to the west. And eventually, I think that will be developed. But right now, this is the main effort to, is to get the plant uh, completed. And as I kind of maneuver at this closer in uh, distance, this gives you a really good view of the uh, two parallel processing 
parts of the plant where it looks uh, right now with the uh, uh, first half uh, well underway and uh, just uh, as I continue to maneuver how the overall site appears. So anyway, I think great progress and I hope that you enjoy what I was able to show you and discuss during this video. As always, thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Take care.